Hello friends, welcome on the Life Coach. Today we will start our journey to learn Python. Python, the world's fastest growing and most popular programming language not just amongst software engineers but also amongst mathematicians, data analysts, scientists, accountants, network engineers, and even kids. Because it's a very beginner-friendly programming language. People from different disciplines use Python for a variety of different tasks, such as data analysis and visualization, artificial intelligence and machine learning, automation, etc. You can write Python scripts to automate a lot of boring tasks, such as copying files and folders, renaming them, and uploading them to a server. So Python is not just used by software developers, but also it is used by other professionals to automate their tasks and make their life easier. Python is a multipurpose language. You can use Python to build web apps, mobile apps, and desktop applications as well as software testing and even hacking. All the above reasons are enough to tell you why Python is the most popular language among programmers and why you should learn it. Before you start your journey with Python, you should have a clear goal in your mind. Why do you want to learn Python? What exactly do you want to do with this language? Do you want to automate some dull or boring tasks? Or do you want to make some web applications? Most beginners make a common mistake that they start learning a language just for the sake of learning it without having a goal in mind. Keep in mind that learning a language is a different thing and using it to build some real-world application is different as a programmer. Your purpose should be to be able to build stuff and not just to learn a language. So firstly explore each field and find out where your interest lies. We have already discussed various fields where Python can be used. So, first of all, Decide what exactly you want to build. Once your goal is decided, stick with it and move to the next step I to find out resources. There is plenty of documentation and videos available online so it's very confusing where to start learning this language especially when Python can be used in various fields. Understand that a single book or video course is not enough to teach you everything in Python and initially as a beginner, you will also get overwhelmed with so many concepts but have patience, explore and stay committed to it. There are some important topics helps you to learn Python. Learn syntax and basics. Object-oriented programming concepts, built-in data structures. Frameworks for Web Development Building Desktop Applications Data Analysis Machine Learning Firstly start with the installation of Python in your system. Just visit Python's official site, download the latest version and you are good to go. Once the installation has been completed, you may use integrated development learning environment to write and run Python code. Now we are going to list out some topics to start with learning Python. It will take almost 1, 1.5 weeks to cover all the basic stuff still it depends on your learning process. The Python shell, basic arithmetic. Control structures. Accepting user input strings and typecasting, looping in Python, for and while loops, exception handling, functions, modules and imports. This section will be a bit tough especially if you don't know about object-oriented programming concepts. Take the help of some resources which we have mentioned and with some practice, you will be able to understand the concepts. These concepts will be widely used in making complex applications, so understand these topics very well. It may take 1, 1.5 weeks to learn.
frameworks for web development. There are so many frameworks for web applications in Python. Some of them are Django, Flask, Bottle, Tornado, and Pyramid. Django, a high-level web framework mostly used in startups and enterprises for web development. It follows the MVC pattern and you can use multiple databases such as PostgreSQL, MySQL, SQLite, and Oracle. If you are a complete beginner and not aware of the terminology authentication, URL routing, API and models then you will feel a lot of pain while learning Django but take your time, have patience, go through some more resources and understand each line of code. Slowly and gradually you will understand everything. Learning Django may take 2 to 2.5 weeks. Flask, Flask is one of the easiest micro frameworks to learn in Python. If you wish to develop a simple and lightweight web application then Flask is suitable for that. It is not as powerful and extensive as Django but still provides features such as support for unit testing and building REST APIs. Learning Flask will take 1, 1.5 weeks. For building desktop applications Kinter, PYQT, KV, WX Python, or PYGUI libraries are very good for building desktop-based applications. Tkinter, Tkinter is an open-source library and it allows you to build desktop GUI applications using Python. Learning Tkinter is simple and provides a graphical interface. It will take around one week to learn Tkinter. PYQT PYQT is one of the most powerful cross-platform GUI libraries owned by Nokia. It combines Python programming and the Qt library. It can be used to design graphical user interfaces for a desktop application. Kiwi, it can be used to create desktop applications. Also, it supports platforms like Android, iOS, Linux and Raspberry Pi. For data analysis NumPy, Pandas, Seaborn, Bokeh, SCIPY, and Matplotlib, these libraries are good for data analysis. These libraries are helpful for those who want to become data analysts, data scientists. Learning NumPy or Pandas will take around one week. NumPy, it is an array processing package and provides a high-performance array object. It is widely used for scientific computing with Python and provides essential features. Pandas Pandas is also a very good open source library that is used for data analysis. It provides high level data structures, such as data frame, and a vast variety of tools for analysis. It also can translate complex operations into a few commands. Using this library, data manipulation becomes a much easier task. For machine learning TensorFlow, most popular deep learning library developed by Google. It is a computational framework used to express algorithms that involve numerous tensor operations. Scikit-learn, a machine learning library for Python, designed to work with numerical libraries such as SCIPY and NumPy. PyTorch, it can handle dynamic computation graphs on the go. It also provides easy-to-use API. Important tips for the beginners. Have patience, it's not just in the case of learning Python, but also it's in the case of learning another language. Learning a first language always requires more effort and time so understand that it will take time to sync everything. Stick with your goal and language. Don't just learn the syntax and jump to a new programming language. Frustration and pain are a part of the learning process. Embrace them instead of avoiding them. Due to some complex terms, errors and issues, you will feel like giving up. Don't do that. 
it happens with everyone in programming. Give some time to yourself and understand the topic using some other resource and with a focused mind. Be consistent. If you are not consistent in learning, it will take a lot more time and effort. Building a project is always helpful in building confidence, so don't ignore its importance.